I'm glad that justice is finally starting to prevail, but it's just starting. That is Quadron Wilson's father this afternoon after he found out an agent with the Wisconsin Department of Justice was charged in the shooting that injured his son. Mark Wagner is now facing one count of second degree recklessly endangering safety by use of a dangerous weapon. Wagner made his initial appearance in Dane County Court this morning. He's free on a signature bond and is due back in court in about a month. Wilson's family says as police shot him five times as police tried to arrest him on Madison's east side February 3rd. Today's charging documents filed against Agent Wagner are lengthy, including an interview from Wagner himself. We'll break down what investigators believe happened in just a few minutes, but what we can tell you is Wagner said he thought Wilson was shooting at him. A f the family at the center of all of this has mixed emotions about today's news. Quadron Wilson's father has some strong thoughts about what we learned and what we haven't. Our Catherine Merck spoke with them today and she has more on what they want moving forward. This shouldn't have never happened, period. Quadron Wilson's family and supporters consider Agent Mark Wagner's felony charge as a step toward justice, but not far enough. Even though this is some semblance of a victory, it's not a complete victory as a whole. Wilson's shooting drew protests, marches, and rallies, but those largely fizzled out as the investigation dragged on over months. It's just starting, and there's a lot to know and a lot to learn, like I say, so, so this never happened to any individual anymore. They say what's happened to their son and their whole family put everything on pause. He's been put on hold since everything happened, since he got shot in the hospital, in jail, in prison, and that's just the way it's been. The same thing I said since the beginning of everything that happened. Wilson has been recovering in custody and will stay there for a while. He's sentenced to three years in prison for unrelated drug charges. Meanwhile, his family says they're left sitting with their own pain too. So everybody's on paid, paid leave for all this time, and we suffered all this time. Still suffering. Still suffering.